Hey friends, I'm here with a quick tip of the day, and this one's going to be about AA abilities and filters. So you open up your inventory, you click on your AA button, and this is something that's been here for a while, but I have completely ignored it until someone suggested me try it the other day. And it's pretty cool, and, uh, and I like it now, so I may use it more often. Why have I completely ignored it? Mostly because I usually have premium account or gold account, whatever you want to call it, you know, where you pay your monthly fee or use a chrono and you can have auto grant enabled. But with my oops all gnome group, I'm playing six free to play accounts, right? So I don't have auto grant enabled. So I have my 50% XP going to AA here. So I have AA points. As you see, I've already spent 76 points I'm only level 60, and I've had it at 50% this whole time. Yes, the XP grind and leveling up is slower by quite a bit, but at least my AA abilities is kind of keeping up with my characters, right? So that's, that's that. And that's why I haven't really messed with filters, because I haven't really needed to search through AA abilities and stuff to select them other than making the hotkeys and stuff, the macros for them. And this, these filters can help with that too. So one of the things I like the most is right here, you just click on this button, can purchase, and it removes all of these grayed out AA abilities that you can't purchase yet. So they are filtered because I have six AA points that I can spend. And so if I want, I can put six points into agility or stability or uh, natural durability. Those are all great options for this level to choose. Or I can go to archetype here. And if I want to have bind affinity as a spell, I could just have on my hotbar, which why am I going to waste my AA points on bind affinity? That's something, that's one of the last things that I'm gonna get honestly because how often do we use bind affinity now gate was another story gate was one of the first aa spells as you could see here that i chose right away to have so i can have gate on my hot bar as a aa macro rather than burning up a spell slot uh but but yeah so if you hit can purchase you toggle it off you see everything and then these are the ones that you can currently purchase with your current AA ability points that you have here that you haven't spent yet. So those are pretty cool. You know, then there's also the class ones like gather mana. I guess I can gather mana. I've never once used this AA ability, guys, unless maybe I was playing a wizard. Otherwise, I've never once used this ability. And maybe I should, maybe especially on my mage, I should. Uh, this is an enchanter. So let's actually take a quick look to see if a mage gets it. This is one of the mages now. Let's go to, uh, not under special, under class. And let's hit can purchase. And okay, there is no gather mana for a mage. So that's interesting. There is for an enchanter, but not for a mage. I do get Call of Hero though, which is pretty cool, and Elemental Form. So again, it works for mages too, you know, this filter. Uh, you know, I get like Mend Companion, that might be something I'm interested in getting as an AA ability. Honestly, I think what I'm going to end up spending it on is going to be like either Combat Agility, Combat Stability, or Natural Durability. Those three are all pretty important because they give you better AC or hit points or just damage avoidance. Um, you know, it imp this improves your base health uh, by 5%. And if I get it up another tier, it'll improve my base health by 10%. And yeah, you're, you're a squishy little gnome caster. You're going to need it. So, so there's that. Let's get back to the enchanter here. Now there are other filters, so let's turn that one off. There's also this here, like can activate or passive. I like the can activate because these are ones like origin here. If for those of you who don't know, origin is something sort of like gate, but it takes you back to your starting city, whatever you have as your starting city. If you don't know what your starting city is, just type in forward slash C H A R 
and press enter for character info and it says i'm bound to the plane of knowledge and crescent reach so knowledge is my bind point crescent reach is my starting city so if i use origin that's where i end up if i use gate i end up in pok then there's can activate uh options for archetype like bind affinity bind site uh gate friendly stasis uh companion suspension you know all these all these things and then there's uh under class again some that you can you can either have none or can activate or show all your passive ones that are just always on once you've claimed them of course once you've bought them so that's another great filter right there is the uh can activate or passive so let's go back to none there and then here these this one i don't understand nearly as much it says like shadows of Lucelin abilities so i guess abilities that were available during shadows of Lucelin, and then abilities that you got during planes of power so maybe if you're trying to do like a progression like that uh like a timeline and then and then the gates of discord ones so let's let's put that back to none and this last one i think this shows all the trade skill related ones so that's there and oh this one's yeah all of the trade skill ones for an enchanter enchanters get a ton of them under special and it's all the enchant metal ones and uh so for an enchanter this is super helpful this last filter here for trade skills because it shows you all the spells that you can get now, these don't necessarily unlock by spending AA points. No, you have to have somebody research these scrolls for you or you have to research it yourself. So you can only unlock these with research. Thankfully, Fezzlewig does research and he can craft every one of these spells, I'm pretty sure, because he's mastered research now. And then last, we have the mercenary ones and you know this is general tank and healer so there's general filter there's the tank filter so these are ones you want i guess for your for your tank like furious wrath and steadfast resolve and then if you have a healer subtle magic and healing acumen honestly i would do general first because you want to have at the very least even for especially for a tank you want to try to max out the health max out the melee defense and possibly the spell resistance before you get into the other stuff and of course i don't have any aa abilities for mercenaries because i haven't used a single mercenary in this team except for everybody in this team has a priest in their pocket suspended for resurrection and some light buffing when I'm not in combat and that's it. Uh, I haven't used mercenaries for any other purpose. So, so that's that. But this is my tip of the day. Check out filters, super helpful. Uh, it was something I'd never really used before and I'm embarrassed because, hey, very useful, very practical. Check it out. If this video was helpful to you, please give the video a thumbs up. If you hated the video, you could give it a thumbs down. If you like what I do here and you would like to help support me and support the channel, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Or you can join the channel as a channel member. Channel members get special perks and privileges like a link to join our private Discord server. You can also leave a super thanks, a super thanks is like saying thank you to me for making a video that you found useful in some way. If YouTube memberships are not your thing, consider joining the Patreon. There's a link to the Patreon in the description below where you can join over there and also get similar perks and privileges like a link to join the private Discord. And all the videos on Patreon are ad free no commercials i would like to thank all of our current youtube channel members and patreon patrons for supporting me supporting the channel and keeping the lights on thank you very much for your continued support you guys are awesome and i appreciate you thank you everybody for watching have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow